a four year old boy presents to the emergency department complaining of swelling in his left elbow joint he as well as his mother denied trauma to the elbow on further questioning his mother tells you that the patient older brother has a bleeding disorder physical examination reveals a warm swollen joint and the lab test reveals prolonged ptt but normal pt and a normal bleeding time to provide the proper treatment for this patient likely hematrosis you order a clotting factor assessment and consult a hematologist so what's the case about age is very important over here and the lab values can tell you what exactly the case it is age as well as prolonged pt as well as normal pt as well as normal bleeding time with hematrosis yes it is a hemophilia so in the hemophilia we need to know whether it is a hemophilia a or b which one has like predominantly we have uh, like hematrosis which one which type of hemophilia we have like uh, hematrosis more commonly so this is the case of hemophilia so we'll discuss like very few important points about hemophilia a as well as b because we are talking the genetics topic over here hemophilia a is a x linked recessive as well as hemophilia b2 so both hemophilia a as well as b are x linked to recessive disorders but the hemophilia a is mainly because of the deficiency of the factor 8 and the b is because of the deficiency of the factor 9 so this is about hemophilia a as well as b so whenever there is a deficiency of the clotting factor like 8 as well as 9 so they take part mainly in the intrinsic pathway of the coagulation so the deficiency of the clotting factors 8 as well as 9 typically interferes with the intrinsic pathway of coagulation thereby resulting in ineffective coagulation response so this is what it is ineffective coagulation response so that's what you need to underline in the pathophysiology for hemophilia a as well as b so the clinical manifestations bleeding into muscles as well as joints which is more commonly or predominantly seen in type a when compared to that of b we will call it as a spontaneous hematrosis and lab findings shows prolonged ptt normal pt as well as normal bleeding time and also there will be a normal thrombin time and the treatment includes replace the deficient clotting factor that's it this is about uh, the treatment so this is the case of hemophilia 